Hey y'all, DJ Doug here. Just doing a little gig tonight down here at the Riverside Landing Park in Oakmont, Pennsylvania. See that bad boy right there? That's the new speaker. This is what this video is all about. You've all seen the QSC 8.2s. Now we're gonna hook them up with the QSC subwoofer. So we'll see you inside. Look at where we're at. Inside the Riverside Landing in Oakmont. Pennsylvania. Got them tops. You recognize them from previous K.2s. Here's the new subs. Let me go over some of the features that are for it. Look it up online if you like. Casters on the bottom all are four-way swivels. I feel like two locked might be better, but it's not been bad so far. The inputs look just like 8.1, except there is no combined output. Volume control up and down power limiters, switch. And so what I'll be comparing it to is the Behringer Euro. This one here, 300 brand new, which is 299 retail, does have the option for outputs that are throughput outputs. But I've already got this switched on. Let me turn everything up to halfway. We're going to go sound test on this thing, and I'll be right back. And here we are at Riverside Landing. It is a beautiful 35 degree day in Pittsburgh. What a day for a 50th anniversary. And so I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of the scenery of what we're looking at here at the Riverside Park, Allegheny River, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Oakmont specifically. And so we're gonna go back inside, we're gonna test the sound system. And here we are back inside. Looks like I got a little puff of hair here, should have trimmed up. Just wanted to give a big shout out to Jordan Hauser Digital who's in charge of all the transitions today. If it wasn't for him, I didn't make any transitions or edit my videos. And so we're trying a little something new today. So here, I've got the Behringer URLF kicking on. As you can see, our baseline score. Hopefully you can see it. In fact, why don't we uh, switch it around to the other side and see our baseline score. 60. 59 and 60 decibels and so we're gonna go ahead and kick on this subwoofer see exactly what kind of decibels we're gonna push out with this thing here inch subwoofer see how well the decibels carry so now I'm in the far corner of the room you can see the distance to the sound system is almost the whole way losing about five decibels but it is a pretty loud room no doubt I don't know what to do about that should test it at home and see what's going on. All right, I'm gonna shut this thing off, and we're gonna go ahead and get it switched over to the case. Up. Okay, we're back, and so it looks like getting a slight different decibel reading. Right around 50 now. Somehow the room got quieter when the workers weren't in here. So we'll kick on the beat. And I can tell you that the bass is much deeper. Still reading right around 73 decibels. And this thing's turned up to high noon. Now, I was hitting the limiter at high noon on the other one. So let's see what we're getting. But let me 
tried from across the room. And so as we travel across the room, see what kind of decibels we're getting. As it carries. Oh man. Dropping all the way down to 64 now. So I don't know what's going on with that. This case up must not be as uh, able to carry. Maybe it's because it's the deeper tone of the 12 inch woofer or what. But we're gonna kick on some music and see how that goes. Until then, for now, that's a cut.